welcome back to the channel. Uh, right before I start, I would just like to say that the majority of my views are from viewers that are new to the channel, uh, not previously subscribed viewers. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure to do so. I would appreciate it greatly and it will help me out a lot. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. As I'm making my way to school, I come up to a storm drain and hear a wet, high-pitched, gurgling noise coming from it. Just as I'm about to investigate, something grabs my shoulder from behind and screams. Did I scare you? It was my buddy Zach, and yes, he did scare me. We both laughed and headed to school, cracking jokes the entire way there. He made fun of me for being such a scaredy cat. After class, we were walking home. I asked Zach if I can see the matchbox he's playing with. He passed it to me. Zach then asked if he could take a look at my dad's watch, which I had become very attached to after he passed away. Naively, I ended up trusting him and handed it over. Zach smiled and tossed it down the same storm drain we walked past earlier in the day. Dude, what the hell? I exclaimed. Zach told me to grow up and stop being so afraid of life, saying I should face my fears and go get it. I hated that storm drain, and he knew it, but that watch is the last thing to remember my dad by, and I absolutely can't afford to lose it. With a deep breath, I pushed myself to go, I didn't see it near the entrance, and I'm not going any deeper. Then, suddenly, Zack pushed the hatch gate closed behind me. He's a lot stronger than me, so for him, it's easy. No matter how much I try to force it back open, it's no use. I yelled at him, asking what the hell is seriously wrong with him. He just laughs and says if I keep going straight, I'd reach the other side. If I can't find it today, he'd help me tomorrow. I stress it to him that it isn't funny and I have a serious phobia of the dark. He just scuffs and says that after today, I'd find out there's nothing to be afraid of. And he walks off home while I bang on the bars of the storm drain gate he trapped me in, screaming for my life. I slam it and scream it on the bars hoping anyone would hear me. I must have been doing it for a while because the sun was starting to go down. Shit. 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 This isn't good. Hopefully, it's not too long of a tunnel. I turn on my phone flashlight and see something big skitter away quickly in the dark. I let out a scream and drop my phone in fear, causing it to short out and die. Fuck. Looking back at the entrance, the sun is fully set and it's now dark on both sides. I'm trapped, but if I keep moving forward, hugging the walls, then eventually I'll find my way out like Zack said. Oh, I'm so gonna get him back for this. As I'm moving further in, I start to hear wet, high-pitched gurgling sounds. I stay in place petrified in fear, unable to move. I was already scared just because of my phobia of the dark. But then, when something touches the back of my neck, I scream, running like I've never run before, splashing through the murky water beneath my feet, flailing in panic, while tears stream down my face. I can't think straight, and I just want to be safely home in my bed, getting ready to sleep with my lights on, as usual. This is a nightmare. It has to be. Before I knew it, I tripped on something and fell down a shaft. I hit the ground really hard and rift in pain for a few minutes. In those few minutes, I remember Zach's box of matches that I asked to look at earlier today. I forgot to give them back. As I go to light a few matches, some being duds, one finally catches, and I see something looking directly at me, making eye contact, 
an inch away from my face. I dropped the matchbox, kicking and screaming bloody murder. I waited and didn't hear any movement. Then started carefully searching for the matchbox I just dropped. Aha! Found it. Okay, I take a deep breath. With a few more failed tries, the flame catches and the area becomes illuminated. I seem to be alone. Did I just imagine that thing? Whatever it is, I need to get the hell out of here. Making my way around the area I fell into, I take a tunnel that seems to have some sort of light in the distance. As I make my way to it, the light goes out. What the heck? Is someone else down here with me? I try to move further in where I saw the light, but it just leads to more tunnels. It feels like I've been walking forever. Proceeding deeper in, a valve starts making a sound next to my head. I turn to look at it, wondering what's wrong, when it bursts open, spraying my eyes with hot steam. I scream really loudly in pain, dropping the matchbox, unable to see anything. I just started hugging the walls like I did when I first wandered in here. Someone from the distance calls out my name and I hug the walls blindly, trying to quickly move towards it. Zack? I called out, finally hopeful that I'd get to go home and put an end to this nightmare. The voice gets clearer as I make my way towards it. It's... It's my dad. But how is that possible? My dad's voice calls out my name again, and I scream, running to it. Dad, I'm here. I'm right here. Please help me. I'm so lost and scared. I open my arms wide, waiting and hoping for my dad to hug me and save me from this place. A wet, high-pitched gurgling noise comes up from behind me.